Tired of sleeping? Just hack your body and you'll be wide awake. What if I told you, you could extend your life by 30% by using a very simple method that works? I'm living proof. Just stop sleeping. I stopped wasting a third of my life lying unconscious. The only problem with my life extension plan is the gremlins. <laughs> Self-imposed sleep deprivation, not a good idea. As it turns out, your body needs sleep, and if it doesn't get it, you could get increased blood pressure, increased risk of heart disease or diabetes, and a 2014 study found that extended sleep deprivation led to neuronal injury. That's brain damage. Not to mention the risk you have of falling asleep when you're at work. You know, in human history, we've already seen sleep patterns change due to technology. Before we had artificial lighting, people didn't sleep in eight hour chunks. It was actually two other chunks of time that we would sleep in. We called it biphasic sleeping. And that's pretty much the way people slept for most of human history. So if technology has changed it before, could it change our sleep patterns again? And could scientists find a healthy way to extend our waking hours? Already today, things like sleep monitoring apps have been a big help. Now these track your sleep as you move through light sleep to deep sleep to dream-filled REM sleep. And by looking at patterns, you can start to recognize when things aren't going well. For example, you might notice that it takes you 30 minutes longer to fall asleep when the air conditioning is set at a certain level. So just by adjusting that, imagine you could recapture those 30 minutes into waking hours. Over the course of a year, that's 182 hours. Hours. And you could have a sleep tracking mechanism triggering your alarm so that when you're in light sleep, it wakes you up, which makes it easier for you to get out of bed. On the weirder side of things, there's some people who are experimenting with wakefulness-promoting drugs called eugeroics. These act more or less like caffeine and other stimulants, but supposedly have fewer negative side effects. Now, the real future of sleep might depend upon us learning more about the science of sleep. For example, some people have a rare genetic condition that allows them to sleep less than the average person and still wake up happy and healthy. They could sleep maybe five or six hours and they're just just fine. We call them short sleepers. Now, back in 2009, a team at UCSF managed to identify one of the genetic markers leading to short sleepers, and they found the rodent equivalent and bred mice with this gene. And sure enough, the mice slept less. You need to understand that there's no pill you can take to become a short sleeper. This is a genetic condition, but by studying it, scientists might be able to learn more about the mechanisms that regulate sleep in the brain, making sleep more efficient. Maybe the secret of sleep avoidance isn't to avoid it entirely, but just pack more sleep in your sleep. We don't know yet if this is possible, but there are scientists looking into it, and I sure hope they find something soon, because uh, I've got a lot of projects to work on. I've got a question for all of you. If you could be happy and healthy on half as much sleep per night, what would you do with all that extra time? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe to our channel, and then, hey, no sleeping on the job, pal. Check these videos out.